Mesdames et Messieurs, je vous invite à applaudir Megan Hoskin et Jeff Tompkins. Um, the hardest part was just getting to the start line. There's a huge amount of work that it takes to get ready to row. The easy part is getting on the boat and just rowing, and it's, it's very straightforward. Um, I'm probably sad to last we got back, but at the point that a lot of the footage is just a boat with sea around it. Um, from the story point of that, and also the fact that the girls absolutely smashed it. There was no difficulty. They took it all in their stride. You're kind of hoping for some drama or a difficult point, but they just absolutely smashed it and didn't put up a journey. So that was there. Uh, we like a bit of drama, but other than that, it was, it was perfect. <laughs> yeah, um, I have never rowed. I still, the only boat I have ever rowed is that boat. So you don't need to to know how to row to be able to row an ocean. Uh, it's, it's very different. Um, I think the experience of, of rowing on an ocean is, is totally different. You just have to learn it on the job. You can't know what to expect or, or what's going to happen. So it's almost better. You're almost lucky to be able to go in without the ideas and the expectations. So I, I'm not a sailor either. I've never been to sea. Um, maybe I just like a silly idea. <laughs> We were very lucky. Um, we, we knew there was a whole load of wildlife there. Um, what we realised is that we only see a very small part of it on the surface of the water. We're in water that's miles and miles deep. Um, but every so often you see nothing, but in the middle of the night, you're rowing through the night, it's dark, there are maybe some stars, but it's just black. And then you'll hear, and you know that there's a whale, sort of very, very close to the boat and it's incredible to, to just know and to hear and to know that they're around you. And we did see sharks too, so that was fun. That added some excitement. And dolphins, yeah? Hmm? Dolphins? And dolphins, yeah, some dolphins. It's hard to spot, but yeah, dolphins, sharks, grey whales. Uh, yeah, we, we, we were lucky, we saw lots, but um, yeah, it was incredible. It was a great part of the experience. One of the things that we wanted to highlight was the amount of plastic pollution and, and rubbish in the oceans. Um, we rode through what's known as the Pacific Garbage Patch, um, so we know that that's a high concentration of rubbish in the oceans. Um, again, only a very small amount of that is on the surface, so that's what we see, but we saw crates, we saw, we saw footballs, we saw strange things when you're 1,200 miles from land. We saw lots and lots of rubbish, so it was, it was pretty sad to see that. Um, it is out there, and obviously, you know, we all need to do what we can to, to try to combat that as an issue. Being at sea, you know, you get used to everything moving, but getting back onto land, then we felt like, woo, for a very long time. Um, I think a day later, I said, oh, I'm gonna walk over there, and um, somebody said, I'll come with you. I said, no, it's fine. And then I walked into a table in a restaurant and everything went everywhere. <laughs> so it's a bit embarrassing. Um, <laughs> but it probably took maybe five, six days to, to adjust for a long time. You just sit still, but everything is, <laughs> everything is moving. Um, so it's harder to adjust to coming back to land after two months at sea than it was to adjust to being at sea. I think the biggest takeaway from that is to realize that actually, you know, I felt I was on a, on a sort of path and on a treadmill and I couldn't get off it. Um, but you realize that from going from never having rowed to six months later being in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on a rowing boat um, and then three months later on land in Hawaii um, and then back back at home and doing something else that actually you can stop you can change you can learn something new you can challenge yourself and, and you can change anything at any time um, it doesn't have to be permanent it doesn't have to be the end answer but you can just give things a go and you can always make a change so I think that's the biggest thing that it sort of took away from, from that part. Um, yeah, that there's always options and to always go at it and give it a go. Um, we all have projects, we all have lots of projects. We're based all around the world. Alan is in Australia, Kaz and I are in the UK. Um, and we have different things and challenges that we want. But, um, so I don't know about the next project together, maybe one day, um, but we will absolutely, we've all got different projects happening, whether it's rowing more oceans for me, hopefully climbing more mountains or whatever. So we'll see. There's always a next project. It's just not confirmed yet what it is. Thank you. Des applaudissements.